Growing up in America wasn't always easy. Being a mixed Filipino American, my mom and I had encountered many struggles and hardships upon our arrival. We barely could speak a word of English, and everything we saw was foreign and new for us. My dad had brought us to America in the winter of 2001. I still remember that day like it was yesterday. It was the first time my mom and I had ever seen snow. Everything was different and foreign. The biggest challenge I personally faced was fitting in when I went to school. I was fluent in English within the first year of my arrival, but when the school found out I spoke another language, they wanted to immediately put me in the ESL slash ELL program, which I quickly tested out of, and they found out I was reading at a middle school reading level. I had no problems making friends in elementary. I think it was due to the part of being radically different that made people interested in me. But by the time middle school came around, I was assimilated to American culture. While still always remembering where I came from, embracing my Filipino culture and the Minnesota Filipino community, over the course of the eight years, I had learned to adapt. However, middle school was a different experience altogether. I was welcomed to a school with the 80% white population. I didn't really try to make friends with these abundant white cliques for the sole reason that they were giving out this vibe, really wanting nothing to do with anyone else but others of their same porcelain complexion. I really tried my best to avoid these people, even if that meant being alone at times. Although, I like being sociable and in the know of everything at all times. Until one day, I met my best friend still to this day. Two Asians bonding in math class, go figure. Later on, he had introduced me to all these other people and it really made me feel better about myself because I finally had a circle of friends to get through middle school with and get to know better. I'm grateful I met my best friend, whose name is Kelvin, because he introduced me to the most beautiful thing in my life so far, breakdancing or b-boying. He came over one day in the summer of 8th grade with a boombox in one hand and a cardboard mat in the other. We didn't really take dancing seriously at all until we got to high school. However, this is when we went our separate ways. He attended Roosevelt High School and I went to South. I stayed at that school for two years until I finally decided to transfer to Roosevelt. I was glad I did at the time. Junior year was also the first year we went to a jam, and what I took away from b-boying other than the physical aspect and training was the mental comprehension of it all. There is no color when you dance. You see them for what they do on the floor and not the color of your skin. You're free to do whatever you want. This was different because you weren't judged by the color of your skin, but by what you're throwing down on the floor. I'm thankful for b-boying in the end because it also opened many opportunities up in my life. I met many other dancers of varying age and skill, and jams and events were just like parties. It wasn't until June of my senior year in a 3 vs 3 battle at North Hennepin Community College, my crew and I took the win for a thousand dollars cash prize in a tiebreaker round. I'm thankful for b-boying because it made me realize we shouldn't try and limit our judgments based on others, but to see them for what qualities they possess and how they treat others as people.